guys! So, welcome back to my channel and for you who's new on my channel, my name is Emily and here today we're gonna do a kind of shit chat, get ready with me video where I'm gonna just kind of not explain so much what I'm doing with my makeup more kind of putting it on, of course showing you the products but not going as deep and today I'm gonna talk about something that lies dear to my heart and it's uh, veganism and how I chose to become vegan, how it's affecting my life, how it affected my family, my partner, and everything. So if you're interested in seeing how I do my makeup and get to know me a little bit better, keep on watching! So I'm gonna use a primer that's new to me and it's the Too Faced Born This... No, not <laughs> the Too Faced Hangover Primer. The foundation is the Born This Way foundation. And I'm gonna use that one as well today. Since I recently came back from Mexico, I'm still a bit tanned. And for you guys who don't know why I was in Mexico, I was at a wedding and it was beautiful. I was in Cancun at the Rio, Rio Hotel. Yeah, it was amazing. My friend Liza and her husband Michelle got married. It was so beautiful and it was very lovely. So that's why I'm a bit tanner than usual. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix the two shades together and I'm gonna just... I, I'm gonna mix them with my fingers. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be kind of a shit shutting video as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and talk a little bit more about myself. Uh, I thought that maybe you guys wanted to know more about like my choice as being vegan or Something like that. So I've collected a little list here on my phone with the most frequently asked questions that I get and have gotten during my time as a vegan. So I'm just gonna get the list from my phone. Yes. Why did I become vegan? Um, I became... this is the... Um, Kat Von D concealer, by the way, it's the Lock It Concealer Cream in Warm. <laughs> that didn't sound reversed at all. Uh, I became vegan at about two and a half years ago, and actually, I became vegetarian one month before that. So, I've been growing up as a meat eater my entire life. My mom and stepdad are hunters, actually. So, in my family, where I come from, it was a lot of meat. But I decided that it was time to do some change because I wasn't really feeling the whole eating other individuals thing. Yeah. And, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and try to convert you all. Um just telling you about what I get for like how I feel and what kind of questions I get and stuff. And if you don't want if you don't want to listen you can turn off the sound. <laughs> so I became vegan because I felt that it was wrong to uh, eat other individuals and by individuals I mean animals. And also I was watching this guy a video that he did which is called the best speech you'll ever hear and his name is Gary Yarovsky. I don't know if I'm ever pronouncing that right, but he goes around and lectures people in veganism and after that video I just felt like yeah, I'm gonna take the, the step now because it's according to me Not healthy to eat meat and stuff and I know other people are gonna be like oh, I can do whatever I want I'm, I'm not telling you that if you shouldn't. I'm just telling you why I I am because I get a lot of questions asked like why so that's why um, and also like environmentally because it's not the industry it's not nice for the for the environment there's a lot of things contributing to the environmental changes so I'm not blaming the the rest I'm blaming everybody all of the small friends you have on your face I'm gonna go in with the Isadora cover stick it's a perfect cover stick in medium beige. This will be too dark for me soon. And if any of you have ever considered going vegan, just ask me. Like, if you have any questions, you can just ask me. I like talking about it. 
to the point where people don't get annoyed because I'm not able to do enough. We talked about it too much. And I don't need to be Maybe I'll really be good. To set all of the base, I'm gonna go in with a contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a light to medium one, the powder version. I haven't even used this ever, so let's give it a go. Brush, NYX 02 brush for this. So, uh, a lot of people ask me like what I've changed since I became vegan. Like, has anything been different, feeling different? And yeah, actually, I feel a lot, um, what do you say, My, awake, energized, uh, I am not sick as often, I wasn't sick very often, but you know like I feel that my immune system is, be is better because it doesn't have to fight all of the animal protein and stuff, and uh, taste, I have a whole new range of taste, like I, the, the flavors are more intense. I can easily, more easily detect salt, sugary, bitter and sweet and umami flavors. So that's, I feel that's what have changed. I'm gonna go over the cream contour with some bronzer and I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I did with the contouring. It's the NYX 23 brush. So <laughs> this question is so funny. It's, I think one of the most frequently asked questions that I get and it's the don't you miss bacon and I'm like no I don't miss bacon actually I think that like yeah sure I, I love bacon I didn't think that any of the meat things taste bad but I feel like why should my taste experience be more worth than two blushes today because I feel I want to spice it up a little bit. No, but this is kind of uh, what I do now. I take one more colorful blush on the apples of the cheek and one more, if I can get it open, yes, and one more kind of brown pink to blend. <laughs> so like also the thing about being vegan is that you every day you meet challenges challenges in everything like buying groceries, buying skincare, makeup, especially makeup. And the challenge of people questioning your choice. And I understand that a lot of people question your choice because they themselves know that like it's not nice to kill other individuals. But yeah, so I also like, like, I have to defend myself a lot for being vegan because people don't think that it's like not normal or whatever. But I would never blame anybody else for not being vegan. It's everybody's choice. You have to have a choice. Um, but it's the same like as I respect other people, I want people to respect my choice. Sometimes that plus the case. I'm not gonna go into that because I don't want to have a negative tone over this video because I feel that I'm a quite positive person and I will not stay that way. Let's glow this look up with some highlighter and I'm gonna use the Melt Stargaze highlighter and I'm gonna top it off with the Inglot Star Body Sparkle, Sparkling Dust. <laughs> and this is the 07 shade, it's quite light. So I'm just gonna go in with this one first and then add it on top. Me like highlighters. So another like thing that people always say to me is like plants have feelings too. And I'm like, no, they don't. They don't feel when you pull them out of the ground. They don't have family relations. They don't have a nerve system in the sense where they can feel pain. Maybe too much shine. Is it too much shine? No, you can never have too much shine. Oh no, I really wanted to use the ColourPop blush today. Shall we go in with some more blush? Yes, let's do it. So this is gonna be Olive, and it's the Super Shock Chic. It's quite like foamy in texture. Let's add some more. It has kind of a pink tone. 
have some more blush. Um, is there any other beneficial benefits by being a vegan? Well, yes, I live a guilt-free life. That's one benefit, I feel. Another benefit that I'm going to talk about is brows. Brows frame the face. So let's go in for some brows, shall we? You want me to zoom in for this? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Powder in Ash Brown with a angled brush also from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is number 7. And I just kind of mix them together and I go in underneath the brow. Voila! Brows! <laughs> To top the brow off, I'm using the NYX Clear Brow Gel just to make the hairs behave. So, <clears throat> most of the times uh, I get asked also about vegan makeup products, vegan hair products, vegan like everything products and it's hard like i don't even i don't know every vegan item uh, within the makeup industry and i also read on the packaging all the time but i do know about a lot of cruelty free brands uh, every makeup product that i use is cruelty free um, and i still have a lot of products that are not completely vegan i am aiming towards becoming 100% vegan within my makeup as well. It's really hard because I have a lot of items that I got before I turned vegan and I don't and a lot of them like I get sent in a PR package and I just don't want to throw them away because I also believe that being a vegan or being a environmental person you just can't throw away things all the time you have to use them use what you got don't have you don't have to go and buy stuff you know contribute to this whole wasteful thing so yes by that said let's continue so the next part of the makeup is the eyes and i'm gonna go in with a primer it's the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion it's the original one and this is all a new product for me i haven't used it for a long time because i was like hey i don't have any vegan primer for my eyes so my last one that I used was neither vegan or cruelty free and I decided to skip it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one and I've heard a lot about like a mixed review on this one but I actually like it. I think it's nice. So one other question that I always get is how did your family react when you became vegan? My mom thought it was hard when I became vegan. Oh by the way on my eyes I'm using the NYX Ultimate Sugar High palette. And I'm gonna go in with the light shade and the brown shade and just do kind of a crease emphasize look. Uh, I just take a light shade, whichever light shade you have will do. Put it on the lid and then go over with the brown shade in the crease. Just to kind of emphasize your natural eye shape. And I'm using one brush for the eyes and it's the 32 from NYX. Um, it's on there, like all of the NYX brushes that I use today, except the big fluffy one, are from the Pro series, if you wanted to know. So I remember when I told my, my mom that I was going vegetarian, and she was like, that was no problem, because I could still like eat cheese and, you know, milk, and I ate eggs also while I was vegetarian, and there's a lot of like stigmas around the vegetarian people eating eggs and dairy products you have to you don't have to but like when you buy groceries it has to say like if it's ovo that means if it, it contains milk or if it's uh, lacto it's um, containing dairy products but if it says vegetarian it should automatically be without animal products at all but you always have to be careful and read through them this eyeshadow palette is so nice by the way. I did not expect this brown to be as orange as it is, so I'm actually gonna go in with some other shade on top of this. I need to look through my little box on the side here on what I like, because it's a little bit too bright. But yeah, the whole 
idea of the makeup is to make it look neutral and not so heavy because you want this to be a quick makeup look. But yeah, and like after a, after a month of being vegetarian, I met my boyfriend, Daniel, and he's a vegan. He's been vegan for I think like seven years or something, maybe more. And he, uh, it was so easy for me to become a vegan because he helped me with everything, like what to eat, what not to eat, what vegan treats you can eat. But I told him that he couldn't show me all of the vegan candy because I'm a candy person. Or I was a candy person, so to speak. What should I take? Should I take this? Nope. Oh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna go back with the contour kit from the Anastasia Beverly Hills and go in with these two shades on the bottom. They are called... Have it now. I don't know. These two at the bottom to make a little... Yes, that's gonna be nice. So when I went vegan, my mom, she was like, oh no, we can't eat anything. And that like was the most, like the common reaction from all of my friends. Like, oh no, we can't ever eat again. But like, you know, that's the struggle with people when you're going out to eat. People always like, oh, we have to, where, where can you eat? And I'm like, yeah, I can eat almost anywhere. It depends on the quality of food that I want. Like I can go to any restaurant and ask for a salad without dressing, you know, with just like vinegar. That's vegan, but it's not so nice because not, not everything that I eat is a bowl of salad, you know? So it's the same with, it. for example, if you eat pizza and you have a favorite piece of place of pizza, you go to that place because you know you like the pizza. You don't go to the next door pizza where you don't like it, even though it's a pizza. Same with me, I go to restaurants where I know I can eat vegan food where they have like a vegan menu yeah so it's you, you learn by trying and tasting as same with every other store or restaurant that's it for the eyes and i'm gonna continue with the liner and it's gonna be the nyx epic ink liner and i'm gonna zoom you in for this just to make it easier for you to see what i'm doing For lips today, I'm gonna use the NYX Liquid Suede and the Soft Spoken one. And it's been one of my um, favorites for a time. I forgot about it a little bit though, so I'm bringing it back. Um, the applicators of these are really nice, so I don't think that you actually have to use a lip liner. You never have to do anything. There we have it, the look is complete. So we have the three L's, we have the liner, lashes, and lips. And this kind of look you can change and alter however you like. You can add more eyeshadow, less eyeshadow, bigger or maybe brighter lips or neutral ones. Sometimes I feel that going for the neutral vibe can be like the perfect way. Or you can just grab one of your brighter lipsticks and have it in your purse during the day and just add on some more color depending on what you're feeling like. So it's a nice look to just like go around with, drinking coffee with, shopping, going eventing, if that's a word. So that's it for today. I hope you got to know me a little bit better about me and my lifestyle choices. And if you some, like I said before, if you have any questions or if you're thinking about going vegan, if you need help with anything or any like makeup products that are vegan or cruelty free, let's leave a comment in the below section or direct message me on Instagram uh, or anything like just, I like to talk to my fans and followers and you are my like, the little avocado family that we have. So don't be shy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.